What a lot of the literature says is kind of depressing for children who are raised by narcissists. So if the parent is narcissistic, then they, in essence, are subjugating the child for their purposes. The child's subjective world, the child being someone different from them, there's no space for that. If the child does express a need or a want or even something that they don't agree with the parent on, the parent's going to tell the child, you're selfish, you're a bad person, you don't see everything I do for you. So kids will learn at a very early age to silence their needs silence who they are. Why does the child do it? It's actually to maintain attachment. And then the child's go-to is, this is my fault. It, it's never for the child that my parent's a bad person. The child will get there over time. And unfortunately, all that child subjugation, that's shaping the child's personality and psyche and identity. And so as they go into adulthood, they may still be an adult who inherently feels like they're not good enough, questions their own value, who has relationships that are dramatic, where people treat them badly. Or the kid might get in with the wrong peers. They might start using <clears throat> drugs or alcohol, but now the kid's also hurting themselves. So it's this sort of sense of there's no clear way to communicate with the parent and have a, a balanced bi-directional communication. The child at the core of it never feels psychologically safe. So they have to do things within themselves to make the situation feel like it's safe. In a parent relationship, that's the closest relationship a child has with really anybody. So they are figuring out all kinds of things in that relationship. So it makes sense then if a parent treats a child in a certain disrespectful, dismissing, unloving way, that later in life that person would seek out somebody who is a narcissist. Right. And think about it this way. They should, right? That's what they That's were... What